I believe that secrecy about our nuclear plans and our nuclear capabilities and their effects has been more dangerous than the secrecy that gave us 10 years of war in Vietnam and 16 years so far in Afghanistan. I'm Dan Ellsberg, and if people have heard of me at all, it's generally in connection with the Vietnam War and with my release of the so-called Pentagon Papers. I was at the same time copying documents on the nuclear planning, nuclear command and control, and I copied probably more documents relating to that, intending to give them to Congress and the public. In 1961, I actually drafted for Secretary of Defense McNamara the guidance to the Joint Chiefs of Staff for the annual operational plan for general nuclear war. Those plans were, and essentially are, still plans for the operation of a doomsday machine, a complicated array, uh, system, of vehicles, computers, warheads, submarines, airplanes, missiles, and humans, which, if launched, the result would be the destruction of most life on Earth our plans would have the same effect as an asteroid. They would burn hundreds to thousands of cities, even if the cities were not directly targeted. And the smoke from those cities would be lofted into the stratosphere so that they would remain up there and not be rained out for a decade or more, reducing sunlight enough to kill all the harvests. No such system should exist. There's no reason for it. There is no rationale. Obviously, it is the most insane, and I would have to say evil, system, scheme, plan that has ever existed. It has never been the case that that was solely under the command of the president, as people have been led to believe whether that president is Donald J. Trump or a more cautious president. It has always been subject to being launched by delegated authority as well as the possibility of unauthorized launch by a considerable variety of other commanders under various circumstances. President Trump could take a step that's been long considered in the Pentagon and always overruled dismantle the land-based ICBMs, which are nothing other than lightning rods for Russian attack in the presence of our submarine-launched missiles, which are invulnerable and don't need to be launched lest they be destroyed. The land-based missiles have been obsolete and anachronistic and dangerous for over half a century. And yet, for the sake of jobs in Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, on keeping those missiles on alert. Senators have told each president, and are doing so now, they must keep them on alert. We should, under no circumstances, initiate nuclear war, no first use. That threat, which has been made by each of our presidents, sometimes in secret, should not be on the table. 